Hey guys, Northern Motors here, back with another video. We purchased a 2018 Ford Raptor. Go, and what better way to break it in, so to speak, than to take it on a road trip? And that's exactly what we're doing now. Basically, taking it on a eight or ten thousand mile road trip. It's an 802A package. Pretty much got all the all the bells and whistles. Here's the inside. Yep. So it's gonna be a three week road trip. Pretty cool that she was able to have off. We also bought a special tent for the truck, a mattress for the truck. So we're gonna be sleeping there. We're gonna be camping. So stay tuned for more updates on the Raptor trip. Such a cool store, guys. We finally got out of REI. It took like two hours, the line. There you go, honey. There you go, honey. Thank you. Ooh. actually just pulled over it's getting pretty late into the night so we decided just to sleep in the Raptor see you guys in the morning good morning everybody Beautiful morning, stormy night last night. We're in, I think it's called Kinball, South Dakota. Pretty comfortable to sleep in. The first mud on the Raptor. That's what it's made for, guys. I want to get this thing dirty. Got some bad food slash good food. <laughs> Angela's Bakery, somewhere in South Dakota. Apricot dinner. Apricot? Mm -hmm. Wow, that sounds good.
we did a little detour. We saw it off the highway. There's a little axis here close to the water. And I couldn't help but off-road the raptor a little bit. I mean, it's not much, but it was pretty cool, needless to say. Just throw some line out here, see what I can't grab. Maybe catfish. came to the uh, I think it's Draw Hill Scenic Overlook. I wish wow. I could see some oh my. natural We need to buy some binoculars. Diversity. That was pretty nice, but there's tons more. We're actually going to go on that peak right right over there. Custer State Park in South Dakota. This is our first time putting up the tent. The raptor is pretty wide for the tent. We managed to make it work. Just this door part, it's supposed to go kind of all the way to the tailgate, but since I bought an airbed mattress, it kind of comes out all the way because they didn't have that 5.5 foot for the short beds here. So I had to quickly order this one. It's the ridge line gear. Today's gonna be our first night. We got our campfire, we got our wood. Still gotta start the campfire and cook up some dinner. For the final step, my secret ingredient is lemon. There's just something about ever since I tried it out. It's been good. I have the recipe down below in the description box. <laughs> Dinner is served. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. We're actually gonna go to bed, 
dinner was so good. Thank you very much, honey. No, thank um, you very much, honey. It's still light outside, but we are so tired. So wind out for the whole day. For the whole day, yeah. I can't even talk anymore. But we'll see you guys tomorrow on our next adventure. See ya. Good morning everybody. Last night's sleep was amazing. It makes all the difference being able to stretch your legs out. Decided to go fishing today. It's currently 6 a.m. See what kind of fish we can catch today. Just made it to the fishing spot. Water is crystal clear. Got the sun coming up. I'm gonna rig up this spinner bait. Got it all rigged up. So I've been fishing for about 10 minutes, no bites yet, but there is movement in the water. Let's see if we can't catch any. First fish of the day. This is today's breakfast. By the way guys, if you are coffee drinkers, this Cormondeo coffee, we got it from California, we got it as a gift. Right there, Sacramento, California. This coffee is just so smooth. Highly recommend anyone who's a coffee drinker, give this one a shot. Breakfast is served. The food was delicious. 
It was. So so good. Um, we're about we're about ready to pack up right now, get everything back in order, and head on the road. Everything is once again reorganized. It feels so good. We're gonna do some devotions right now and then head on to our next adventure. And our hands have handled concerning the word of life. The life was manifested and we have seen and bear witness and declare to you that the internal life which was with the Father was manifested to us. Highway scenic overlook. So Definitely worth the drive. You guys can see that tunnel, tunnel right there, right in the middle. A raptor. Uh, yeah, it was pretty close. But definitely, definitely recommend if you guys are out in this area. Wow. So that was really nice. We just went up to those rocks right up there, kind of hiked up a little bit. And honestly, we're just kind of exploring the area. Mm -hmm. We don't really have a plan here. This is our main point, kind of our first stop is this Needles Highway. We really wanted to come here and it definitely, definitely was worth it. Um, but now we're just gonna explore some dirt roads, hopefully. Our truck is apparently six inch wider than any truck on the road, so. We barely fit it through the tunnel. I'm shocked how my husband. <laughs> Here's me, I would have just crashed it. <laughs> Beautiful scenery, it's right by the lake. Good, food. highly, yeah. We had a buffalo burger. It's really it was good. really, we shared one, it was really amazing. <laughs> About seven hours to go to Grand Teton. Decided to take a quick detour, <laughs> take a look at this cow here. There's a whole herd of them. This cow is mad. Wife driving now I'm editing the video and we were driving for well honey like two hours and we actually found McDonald's in the middle of Wyoming yep a McDonald's and we're oh, gonna tell you guys here? a little secret Am I supposed to order you thank you for the McDonald's what are you eating today <laughs> I'm good thanks uh, can we do two vanilla cones please anything else that's our little secret that's gonna be it we've been driving pretty much the entire day we decided to stop by in Riverton Wyoming we got this place pretty luckily that it was like the last room available and it's a holiday Inn, so everything else is uh, pretty uh, pretty interesting out here so yeah thanks for joining us on the adventure today we'll see you in the next one
Good morning, friends. Thanks for joining us on another adventure. We just got out of the hotel, driving in beautiful Wyoming. Definitely, definitely coming up to the beautiful spots here shortly. We got about two hours to go. We're going to our first hike of the trip. Decided to pull off super beautiful river. It's so tempting to hike down there. Beautiful scenery. There's some horses. This is an organic beef stick. I think he's sleeping. Hey, bye. Here you go, here you go. So we decided to stop at this nice overlook area, do a little picnicking, get recharged for the hike. Here's our brunch for today. Just made it to String Lake Trail, ready to go. Can't wait. We were all the way down there. We just crossed the halfway point. This is a four mile hike and man, I'm out of shape. We are enjoying the view. This is what you gotta try.
You know what it tastes like? It tastes like ice. You know when ice melts and that water you get? Oh, guys. This is awesome. I wish they had smell vision. Because it literally smells like a spa or a, yeah, in Russian it's called banya. Guys, we've been out of this world for a little bit. This hike has been probably the most worth it hikes ever. Every view is majestic. Snow on top of those mountains right over there as well. Treed mountains over there. There's snowy mountains. So you get all the scenery. This is called the Spring Lake Trail. So we're looking for a campground. We're currently traveling to this lake. This road should take us right to the lake and apparently there's some campgrounds over there and we're gonna see if we can't stay there for the night. First campsite was a no-go, it was all full. We found out some information that the Teton National Forest has a lot of campgrounds and basically you can just park anywhere and sleep. If you're in the range of the Teton National Park, then you cannot sleep in your car unless you're, you paid for a campground. But here in the National Forest, you can just pull over and basically nobody's gonna touch you. So that's where we're heading down now. Sun's going down, we're racing to set up the tent. Right here guys. Got bear spray, so we're all set up. Just got everything set up, literally as the sun went down. The bed is up, this time it took us probably 10 minutes to set up the bed. Now we're gonna make some tea and then call it a night. Thanks for being with us. We'll catch you on the next adventure. You guys have a good night. Good morning, everybody. This was our campsite. We're just outside of Teton National Park in the National Forest. We put the tent all back we were racing against the rain, it started drizzling on us, and we wanted to get it done real quick. So wasn't able to get a time lapse or anything, but today is also a very, very special day for us. Today is a very special day because it is our anniversary. One year. year anniversary. We wanted to go to Mexico first. With all what's going on in the world, we kind of didn't want to risk flying and then getting quarantined and whatever. So we decided to take this road trip instead. And yeah, one year ago, we said our I do's and we're still going strong. God has been blessing us abundantly and we've been going through the thick and thin. And it's been an awesome, amazing, blessed time with my beautiful wife.
So we wanted to do a little bit of exploring in this area. There's a creek somewhere down there. I just saw some people go there. Hopefully we can catch some trout. One of the goal for this trip is to do a like catch and cook. You go out, catch a trout, cook it, eat it. I never tried it, but really would love to try some trout. cliff here pretty steep we could get down there but i don't know fortunately there was a little bit of access to the creek it wasn't really worth it i didn't want to get all wet they had a like little cliff figured we'd save it for next time It's a little bit of a different day today. It's gloomy, rainy, but it's really beautiful. There's fog on the mountains. Still really, really nice. We're basically all packed up and we want to head up north a little bit to Yellowstone and explore that area. I opened my email. I got accepted in the YouTube partnership program. So thank you everybody for subscribing, liking. Please share my videos. Super, super excited. This is just gonna let us travel more and make these awesome videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Join us in the adventure. Just made it to Yellowstone National Park. We got our maps. Ready to have a good time exploring. We decided to pull over, do some hiking. Be careful, honey. You gotta go on that rock. It's much safer down here, believe it or not. Please stay closer. <laughs> I'm scared. We can actually hike down right down to the river and start fishing. You can, but we won't. <laughs> Wow. All right, let's go back. We're just gonna be following you guys for some comedy. Look at the, that one is really shooting. Yes. That volcano? So this is a volcano? <laughs> oh. I don't know, I like... Hey, look. Oh. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? I heard it. Yeah, we better get going. Hmm? Said we better get going before it gets real bad. <laughs> oh, look at that. Thank you, honey. Look at that. It's like burnt. Come out like that. <laughs> Stopped by the beautiful picnic area, right by the creek. We're gonna cook some soup right there. 
and I'm gonna try to do some fishing. What a beautiful place for a picnic. Could be a bear right here, guys. I'm looking for a deeper pool of water. I think right over here is where that deep pool is. Well, maybe it's better on the other side. Looks like another no-go. I don't even see any fish. So beautiful and amazing just to sit and listen to the water and the thunder roaring, birds chirping, and of course, some coffee. Amazing time at this really pretty creek. Beautiful nature, but now it's time to get out of here. Check out this view. That is absolutely incredible. anniversary was such an amazing day guys thanks for tagging along with us all the different scenery we stopped by we went all it. through the yellowstone we had a picnic quite a few times and it was just so great thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one fishing bridge in Yellowstone. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see but he's really big. Uh, this is called Yellowstone Lake. It's the fishing bridge and there's cutthroat trout here. And Oleg really wants to catch some. Oh I'm scared of him. Big, he's scary.
Good morning, everybody. Today is a great day here in Yellowstone. The goal for today is gonna be explore a little bit around here and then head on to Idaho to do some overlanding camping. Now we're just gonna go grab some breakfast, some coffee, and go exploring. Everything here burnt. It's crazy. 9,777 elevation level. So he stopped to fish and he told me Let's go. He told me I have to respect his hobby. And he told me I can just sit on my chair, which I grabbed right here. And he grabbed my fishing pole too. So can you lock the car? He, he thinks I'm gonna fish, but I'm really not. And actually he grabbed the fishing pole he said for myself. <laughs> So I don't have to retie different baits and lures and stuff. So. He asked if he can have my fishing pole. He bought it for me. And I really like it. I've only fished with it like twice. You have a nice line. Too. Caught I've... nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but he wants it because it's neon orange. It's a nice rod. I don't know. <clears throat> you look so pretty. No, I don't. You look way too pretty for this day. So this is the fishing bridge. The sucky part about this bridge is that you can't fish right here because they stock the trout here, the cutthroat trout. So you got to walk a mile down the stream or a quarter of a mile upstream. So basically, you just got to walk a mile up the stream and we can fish. He's fishing not one mile from the fishing bridge, but <laughs> very, very close. He's just trying to hide a little bit because we had to walk all the way there. And he's not using my fishing pole yet, but we'll see in a minute. He said he likes how my fishing pole sounds better. <laughs> coolest part about Yellowstone is you can just see wildlife right on the side of the road while you're driving. Look, there's another one over there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. These animals are huge. So we just got out of Yellowstone. We're heading to a campground in Montana that's pretty close to a creek. And we're just trying to beat the rain because it looks like it is about to start pouring any second. But yeah, that was our trip to Yellowstone. Check out the views.
Hey guys, we got a beautiful place by the creek. We just got set up. The clouds actually went away from us and there's a slight drizzle, but we are still gonna be able to make some food. I got some nice dry firewood tonight. We are right off the road. This is our campsite. So we're hitting, sitting here editing, reading, and there's just cows. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're scared of the hammock. <laughs> because you see that brown guys do you see this brown one I saw the, a lot of black cows but then I saw that brown and I was just like oh no that is probably a bear and because we have our bear spray right here you can't really see the so tent. I, was I, was I mean already... the net and we got our bear spray and she was about to hand it to him <laughs> The weather has cleared up. So beautiful here. We we're just watching the cows. Yeah. So we actually.
got the fire going. Camp is all set up. Just got the corn out of the fire. That's gonna be it for today's adventure. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Spent the morning drinking coffee right by the creek right here. So peaceful, relaxing, not a cloud in the sky. We went ahead and packed everything up. This place was so beautiful. I think the white noise from the creek made us sleep so deep. By far the best spot we've camped at. Oh yeah. Because we had the creek, the noise, uh, we've got the mountains on all sides. Um, it was really, really pretty, but I was scared at first because I just wasn't sure if there was going to be a bear coming along. Yeah, there, there's but definitely a lot of bear warnings, and then coming from Yellowstone, they emphasize it and, and make yeah, sure kind of scare you. You're packing a bit. your food away and everything. Yeah, so. but we were we were pretty good at with that it was a really really amazing this night. is in montana by the way so and peaceful. it's a free campsite so you drive in we had our own fire pit and yeah you just drive into any spot you find open and then uh if you guys didn't check out yesterday's episode we had quite the surprise 
So yeah, guys, that was our morning and now we're about to head out. This was the location of our campsite. Beautiful mountains. Guys, we're currently in Idaho. I think it's one of the most beautiful states to pass through. It's rivers and the churns are so crazy. Sunset today was gorgeous. We're gonna do a quick stop here and continue on. Highway 101. This is one of the views you get. at the Redwood State Park, I believe. And this is the size of a tree for scale. another video and it's time to head home. back home to Minnesota such an amazing time we had to cut our trip a little short because we wanted to extend our time with family super fun experience definitely if you have the chance to travel at least for a week to whatever it is coming back though is really hard and getting back to the regular workflow all you want to do is just travel and travel but we actually have some exciting news. More on that later. But yeah, guys, thanks for viewing our videos. Please share them. If you have any questions about our trip or anything you'd like to know, stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next time.